with the whole like and subscribe thing, if you can like, that'd be like really good because as far as I'm aware, the more likes the video gets, it gets put out to a lot more people um, by YouTube. They suggest it to more people and then we can actually get the channel to grow and things like this can help a multitude of people out there. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to talk about Fitment. We're gonna talk about perfect Fitment. What is perfect Fitment? Is it this? Is it this? Is it this? I don't know, is it? No, it isn't. Nine times out of 10, it isn't what that guy on Facebook told you it is. You know why? Because he gave you one comment. He gave you one comment. So let's talk about why he's wrong and I'm right. Let's jump in. So, the reason that that guy is incorrect nine times out of 10, and I'm gonna be correct right now, is because he probably didn't ask what kind of preference do you have? Do you want uh, flush fitment? Do you want meaty tire fitment? Do you want to run a lot of camber? Is that the look you're going for? What is it? Perfect fitment is whatever you want it to be. It's your preference, and to you, that is perfect. To that guy over there, it might not be. So what we need to do is come up with a baseline, which is what I'm doing today. We're gonna to come up with the three Fs, Fender, Filler, Fitment. And that is essentially gonna be the most aggressive fitment um, per width of rim that you can fit on your car. Now, I have done this on the E46. There's a video, you can click on the link and have a look at that. Um, and it's rolled and unrolled guards. So obviously there's gonna be two measurements because if you've got factory guards, you don't wanna roll them. You're gonna have one set, one chart of uh, Fender Filler Fitment figures. That's a lot of Fs. And then if you've got rolled guard, you're gonna have a different set and a different chart. For example, the Supra, uh, in comparison to stock Fender lips, mine are nine mil um, smaller because I rolled them quite aggressively, front and back. So the chart for rolled guards is gonna be X and the chart for unrolled guards is gonna be X plus nine to your fitment. So it's pretty simple. It's just gonna save a lot of time. Uh, guys asking, what's this, what's this, what's this? And then everyone throwing up 700 photos and then other people getting confused and other people getting aggro because it's social media and that's what they do. Um, it's just gonna give everyone a nice baseline. And then if they go, okay, well, I actually need to be five mil away from the lip because I'm gonna run some meaty tires. There you go. Oh, okay, I actually need to be four mil out of the lip because I need to run some camber and I'm gonna bag it out and drop my fender in between the lip and the tire, things like that. So everyone's gonna have a baseline and every car has a fender, every car has the edge of the rim. So fender filler fitment will give you exactly that. For example, I actually had a subscriber hit me up and he was like, hey man, is this gonna fit? He had a certain um, set of wheels that he just bought. They're actually even more aggressive than mine and he doesn't have rolled guards. So they're not gonna fit. Uh, he's gonna have to run either a lot of camber or roll his guards and still run a decent amount of camber. So if he had these figures, if he had this fender filler fitment chart, then it would have made life a lot easier for him and he wouldn't have gone out and wasted 1600 bucks. And it breaks my heart that he's gone and done that because now he's gonna probably, I don't know, maybe lose some money in selling them on and then get a new set. But it's gonna look sick anyway, but it'll just a couple extra steps for him. So this is a video uh, that's gonna be like a bit of a precursor to some upcoming content. Uh, I've got a video for the Triple Fs coming for the Supra. Uh, I've already done one for the E46. I am going to be doing one for the Crown. It's just, I need to get a stock body crown and also a rolled fender crown so we can have a bit of a play because my rear fenders have actually been cut out completely. Um, when you start going into the realms of cutting fenders, popping fenders, uh, camber arms, etc., etc. then it's a real customized thing. Fender filler fitment will still help you, uh, put you in the ballpark, but because you're then going to go and pop your guard, it's not really gonna help um, have it perfect. But that's why I thought that it would be a very good idea to start spreading the message of fender filler fitment so that anyone that just buys a car and wants to put a nice set of wheels on it, maybe just drop their car, put some wheels on it and cruise, 
they've got those figures and they can go on the marketplace and be like, oh, they're 19 by nine and a half and they are mm, not gonna work. Or yeah, they'll work. Or they'll work, but I need to run a 20 mil spacer. Whatever it may be, you, they might get like a cheap set and run some bolt-on spacers. Coming from someone who ran bolt-on spacers on my Supra for like 10 years, maybe longer, they're not bad, but it's always that kind of thing in the back of your head, knowing that your wheel fitment isn't perfect. Your wheels aren't perfect for the car. Hence the reason I went and custom built mine, so they are perfect for the car. So guys, I hope this video was helpful. I hope we really can spread this message around and get some kind of information out there. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot of videos coming up. I'm gonna be trying to get in contact with a lot of people that have rolled and unrolled guards on FDs, GDRs, um, non-GDR Skylines, like whatever I can get my hands on and do the measurements and so on and so forth, I will be doing for everyone because I think that's really gonna help the community. So guys, if you liked, please like. Please subscribe if you wanna hang around. With the whole like and subscribe thing, if you can like, that'd be like really good because as far as I'm aware, the more likes the video gets, it gets put out to a lot more people um, by YouTube. They suggest it to more people and then we can actually get the channel to grow and things like this can help a multitude of people out there. So guys, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye guys.